So here's another type of joinery for all the home DIYers out there, remodelers. Um, this system that I'm using here is a lot better than just shooting a face nail into the end grain or a screw or whatever. This is the Craig pocket hole system here. They've got a, a couple different ones and they actually have a couple more that I don't have sitting here. But the main reason why I like this one is because it's pretty simple to use. It's pretty easy, especially out on the job site. It drills the pocket hole in a slight angle. That way when you put your screw in there, you're screwing across the grain and then across this grain also. So it's a lot stronger of a, a bond just using a, a screw. It's a, it's a lot, lot, lot stronger than putting a screw or a nail through here into this end grain. This end grain here, when you shoot it this way, is not gonna hold very well. I mean, obviously, yeah, you, you're gonna wanna glue it and the glue will help hold it, but this pocket hole screw is a, gonna be a lot stronger of a bond. And two, it, it's a lot easier to hide your screws and your nails. Like on this side, see this is gonna be the finished side of the cabinet, which is everybody's gonna see. So this is the back side, which is gonna go against the wall. So I drilled all my pocket hole screws on the back side where nobody's gonna see it. And then this is the top. Nobody's gonna be able to see the top either, but they also make um, some wooden plugs here. So they just slide in there, you glue them in, slide them in like that, and then sand them off smooth. And if you have to fill them in, you can with these. So let me show you how it works here. So first you need to set your, set this to the thickness of your wood. See, it goes all the way up to inch and a half, all the way from a half inch to inch and a half. And depending on the th your board thickness, depends on how long the screw you need. So I'm using three quarter inch material. So I'm gonna set this to three quarters of an inch right here. And then second thing you need is on your drill bit, it has a little set screw, a little Allen screw right here, and it has measurements on it. So again, I'm using three quarters of an inch. So if you could see right there, I'm setting this to three quarters of an inch. So after you've got this set to three quarters of an inch, which is the board thickness, and you set this to three quarters of an inch, which is the other board thickness, then pretty much all you have to do is figure out which way you're wanting to joint it. Do you want this, this end to, to die in there? Or do you want this end to die in here? After you figured that out, then on this one, you would just set this to where it tightens up tight, push it down in there and clamp it and that's it. This one right here is a little bit different. This one's a little more uh, movable. I actually probably use this one a lot more. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. You just set the board thickness, which is three quarters of an inch on there. And it works the same as that. You just clamp it on here. But like I said, Craig also has more options than this. But let me show you how it works here. So I've got my board clamped in there. See? So then, you know, if however you're going to attach it, if you're going to attach it this way or, or this way or however you, you want to do it to hide your screws, just put it on there like that. And they, they recommend that you use a drill so you don't over tighten it, but it's just a lot easier to use an impact. There you go. No screws. You don't see any screws here. It doesn't come out the back side. You don't see any screws there. And it's pretty strong. I mean, I haven't even put any glue on that. It's not moving. Pretty strong in my opinion. I don't think if that was just two nails in the end grain here and I would have stepped on that, that would have broke. So, hopefully it'll help somebody out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Hope you guys have a blessed day.